praise the Lord, because I can't do it. And we'll give you a more cheerful update when we get into town and get some food, because we woke up at 3 a.m. to catch our flight, and we're working on kind of just, you know, like croissants and snacks. So, thoughts, driver? Ciao from Italy. I'm enjoying it. I'm ready for lunch. I want some pasta, some pizza. Go explore Positano. I'm excited. It's before noon. We got a whole day ahead of us. This is what we've been sitting in for the past half hour or so. Pretty much stop and go. We knew there'd be a little bit of traffic, but we've We've lost quite a bit of time. I think by the time we get to Positano, it's gonna be a eat and turn around situation, but we're doing our best. You hanging in there? Yeah, I'm hanging in. It's a beautiful view. It's kind of unfortunate. We do have to get back by 6 p.m. So we'll have to leave Positano by four so we can check into our Airbnb. Hopefully we get at least a, a couple hours there in Positano. We'll see. Alright, so we finally made it here in Positano and Ciao. the views are absolutely amazing. We, yes, we parked our car, found a little parking garage, pretty easy to get into. Um, now we walked maybe a couple little turns, found this view, and there's a beautiful looking restaurant called Il Fernillo to our right, which we're about to uh, stop to eat lunch at. And then we're pretty much gonna turn around and go back to Naples, but I'm yeah. glad we made it out here. It's stunning. Beautiful view. Yeah. And now we're just going to stroll around. We have just under an hour before we need to pick up our car back at the car park. And then head back. So we're going to try and make the most of it. We can maybe go stick our toes in the sand. Maybe get a little gelato. I want gelato. I want gelato. <laughs> So the beach here is beautiful and it's stunning just like any other Italian beach you see with all the umbrellas and just people hanging out relaxing. The one thing I did notice here is there's a ton of really big pebbles um, so it's not a sandy beach at all. You'll probably need some, some beach shoes for sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, the uh, smoothie here. It's bananas, blackberries, I want to say strawberry, and grapes. What do I think of Positano? I think it's as beautiful as it is touristy. Is that fair? It's full of tourists, but it truly is gorgeous. Like, stunning around every turn. So, I think it's worth coming to. Honestly, the, I think a lot of it too is kind of the aesthetic of the bright colors and the beautiful striped umbrellas and the whole thing just really adds to it. But then you've also got like back behind you is these cave restaurants and the ocean and just so many boats and yachts and ships out there which is fun to look at. Yeah, I think it's definitely worth a short stay. That's what I think. Also, ice cream. <laughs> I really like it. I mean, it's a it's a like one way windy road once you get into Pontano, and so it can be a little bit I guess like super challenging to find parking and drive through and all that good stuff. But once you park and you walk around, I think it's wonderful. I think if we came early in the morning, a whole day at our at beach. Uh, bag packed up, ready to go. This would be wonderful. We're going to like rent in an college chair, hang out, and just enjoy it. Get some smoothies, some drinks. I'd stay here for a few nights for sure. So we're going off of like an hour of being here. So take that for what it's worth. Alright, that was way too fast. We were only here for not even two hours. We have to walk all the way back up the uh, cliffs here and get our car. So we're going to head out and go check in our Airbnb. Uh, bye. <laughs> we've made it it has been an up and down kind of day we are like beyond hot and sweaty so pardon my looks but we're just gonna give you a room tour as is we found our Airbnb the sweet lady had to like shout at me from the balcony because I kept walking past it anyway welcome come in come in so first behind you we have a bathroom you know what a bathroom looks like then we have a really gorgeous desk area Gorgeous, right? We have beautiful big windows out looking out over the Spanish Quarter, which is where we're staying. We've even got a fireplace, a TV. We've got a lovely, lovely couch, pretty art, stone walls. Huh? That's nice. Come on, through here. Look at these high ceilings. Can you even? When our Airbnb host met us and greeted us, she was like, it's small. And I, I thought she was joking. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to laugh because this is not small. Small is staying in a room the size of a closet and calling it a bed. Anyway, we have more beautiful natural light. We have a full kitchen and a dining table. Can I get you a Campari soda? Come with me. Upstairs, we have a loft area with the bed. That's a nice bed, huh? So that about wraps up our room tour, our home tour here in Naples, Italy. And we've got big plans for the next few days and even bigger plans after that. I'm so excited, but I don't want to rush the fun until then. But anyway, I digress. We have big things coming up. We can't wait to take you along. So please join us as we explore Naples and the surrounding area. Ciao. Buongiorno from Pompeii. Today's plan is to visit the archeological site of the ancient Roman city of Pompeii. So we just parked our car. We're getting ready to leave. We're gonna head to the entrance and then make our way in and check out the whole ancient city of Pompeii.
outside Pompeii and kind of needed to take a minute to sort of walk past. When you very first come in, there's just tour group after tour group taking up the whole walkway. And I was just like, bleh. It's anyway, so keep walking and it opens up quite a bit. And we've come across a, a first little really cool spot. It's really cool. You can see some really beautiful detail of the Roman architecture. And I'm really liking it so far. What do you think? Yeah, it's, it's actually really well preserved. Walls, rooms and houses, fireplaces, columns, statues. I mean, it's amazing. Pompeii is an ancient Roman city that was completely buried under volcanic ash after the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. Mostly preserved under the ash, Pompeii was rediscovered in 1748 and offers a glimpse of Roman life, frozen at the moment it was buried. Okay, we just left our first set of the preserved bodies from Pompeii, and they're not, the body's not in there. They used a plaster mold based on a, a void in the space that the bodies created. And we saw a couple of adults in varying positions, a dog and a child. And it's very sort of sobering and somber, but also wildly fascinating to see the positions they took in their very last moments, or you can imagine what they must have been feeling. neighborhood that I'm in right now is where the wealthy people lived or the aristocrats and the building that I'm sitting in is actually the local bakery and behind me is the oven that the bakers used to make the local bread for all the people that lived here. Okay before we leave I want to go and see the massive amphitheater. And then towards the exit, there's a gladiator theater that I wanna go check out with a grand theater attached to it. And I think we're about to come up on maybe where the gladiators lived. This is insane. Everything here is over 2000 years old. 2000 years and well-preserved. I mean, you could literally spend all day here and probably not see every single detail. Okay, so we've made it to um, the Gladiator Amphitheater here. And the field behind us, I think, is probably where they warmed up and trained. I'm not too sure on that. But on the other side, next to it, is a massive amphitheater where I believe the actual fights happen. I don't know. <laughs> Do you give me a sword and a shield? I think I would literally just run away. You probably wouldn't even be able to hold people. I'd probably fall over. No offense. You're very <laughs> strong. But you know, serious. That's crazy. I'm overhearing a tour over there, and as you might imagine, the VIP people sat in the front and they had better seats, like bigger seats, and then the seats got worse and worse as you went up for lower classes. Seemed kind of self explanatory, but that's what the tour guide behind me is saying. <laughs> Um, we spent the morning here and saw what we felt like we wanted to see. Big step. <laughs> and I think we're about ready. We're going to head back to the car, grab some food, and then make our way to the airport not to leave, but to return the car so that we save 
some doll hairs. Yeah, 25 euros to park in a parking garage for like eight hours. Yeah, so <laughs> that's the plan. Gotta take care of that skin, you know? They're not the actual bodies. The bodies left kind of a void. But that's what the tour guide behind me is saying. <laughs> I'm hungry. 